As an endocrinologist, one of my job is to make sure all your endocrine organ is working properly. One of the most important thing is the thyroid gland. It's located in the neck, uh, in the front of your neck, and it controls a lot of function in your body. It controls how fast your body is working, how fast your metabolism is. Now, if you have a hormone level that is too high or too low, that can cause issue. In hypothyroidism, which is probably the most common thyroid issues that patients have, the production of thyroid hormone is not enough. So the level in the body is low, and that leads to a lot of medical conditions. Um, one of the symptoms, I think the top two symptoms that patient comes to me with, number one is just generalized fatigue. Um, no energy or low energy. And then in addition to that, number two would be weight issue. Either they're unable to lose weight or they're actually gaining weight despite diet and exercise. On top of fatigue and weight issues, patients will complain of lightheadedness, low heart rate, slow bowel movement, even constipation, and also changes in hair, nail, and skin growth. Um, so the symptoms are basically a lot from head to toe. Um, now, uh, as you might recall, the symptoms is very nonspecific. A lot of medical condition can cause weight gain or fatigue. So to confirm, once you have the suspicion the patient might have hypothyroidism, a blood test is necessary. This is a simple non-fasting blood test, can be done at any time. The idea is to measure how, how low your thyroid level in your blood. If the blood level is low, then it's confirmed you have hypothyroidism. Once you're diagnosed with hypothyroidism, the next important thing is to determine what type of hypothyroidism you have. It's interesting, a lot of patients come to me, they've been treated for hypothyroidism for many months and uh, even many years, and they don't know what type of hypothyroidism they have. Um, so the most common type of hypothyroidism is called Hashimoto hypothyroidism. This is an autoimmune condition where your body produces antibody, and this antibody, instead of protecting you from bacteria and virus, it actually attacks your own thyroid uh, and render it basically unable to produce enough thyroid hormone. Um, another common cause of hypothyroidism is medication-induced. Traditionally, uh, heart medications such as amiodarone, uh, certain uh, psychiatric medications such as lithium, and more recently, a uh, certain type of chemotherapy and immunotherapy can cause hypothyroidism. Finally, uh, any type of injury or insult to the neck or to the thyroid area can cause hypothyroidism. This include um, uh, major trauma, surgery, or radiation to the thyroid. In terms of treatment of hypothyroidism, I think it really is the most challenging part in managing patients with hypothyroidism. In theory, the treatment is simple. If your body does not produce enough thyroid hormone, all we need to do as physician is to replace it with a once daily pill that has synthetic thyroid hormone. In reality though, patient comes and see me and they feel like although they've been taking the medication every day, their levels still go up and down um, and their symptoms are not resolved. So that's probably the most challenging part in managing patient with hypothyroidism. Uh, the problem comes when uh, there are multiple preparation and type of thyroid hormone replacement in the market. And every type of uh, medication and brands has a different absorption rate to your body. Uh, also, if you don't take the pill, the thyroid replacement pill appropriately, um, the absorption to your body is not going to be perfect. Uh, I always tell my patient to make sure you take your thyroid pill alone in the morning with just with water, not coffee, tea, or juice and it has to be separated with other pills, breakfast, for at least 30 minutes. In some very sensitive patients, it's even up to one hour. Um, I, will, I typically work with patients to make sure that they're on the appropriate type of thyroid hormone replacement. Um, different brands and different type of thyroid hormone will have different effect uh, to different patients. So it's almost like a trial and error, see which type of uh, thyroid hormone replacement that best works for a patient. Uh, in terms of quality of life, a lot of the time, let's say their thyroid hormone level is already normalized for many months, but then the symptoms continue. They continue to have weight gain, they continue to be fatigued. And in, in that scenario, typically, I really would do a complete history and exam to make sure they don't have any other underlying and undiagnosed condition. Once you have one endocrine condition, 
the risk of developing other endocrine condition is higher. Um, so that's why I want to make sure we're not missing any of these diagnoses. A lot of time they come to me with thyroid issue, but then uh, the symptoms doesn't get better and uh, eventually they will be diagnosed with other endocrine condition, for example, adrenal or reproductive hormone issue. Um, the final thing that is important about hypothyroidism treatment is to make sure that your overall well-being is being taken care of. I always talk about nutrition with my patient, make sure they have enough macronutrients and micronutrients. A lot of time they're deficient in vitamin B12 or vitamin D that has to be addressed. Um, I address it with diet modification and if needed, uh, dietary supplements.